In lesson 21, we're looking at scientific notation and two statements of equality. The first example is simplifying 0 0.003 times 10 to the negative 6 times 4,000 over 0 0.006 times 10 to the 15th times 2,000 times 10 to the 4th. All right. Um, the standard scientific notation is where we have the decimal point after the first non-zero number. So what I'm going to do is put all of these in just standard scientific notation and then I'll simplify from that point. So in this first one, the point 0, 0, 0, 0003, I'm going to move the decimal point over one, two, three, four places to the right. So that's going to be three times 10. Now that is making this number bigger. So it's actually when we move one, two, three, four places over, that's minus four to that negative six. So that's going to be a negative 10. Okay, and then to change the 4,000, I'm going to move its decimal point that's not seen, but understood to be right behind that last zero. And I'll move it over one, two, three places. So it'll be four times 10 to the third power. This time it's positive because I'm going one, two, three places to the left. So if I'm going to the right with the decimal, it's negative or I'm subtracting it. If I'm going to the left, it's going to be positive. Okay, then on the bottom, I'm gonna have six times 10 and we're going one, two, three places over. So I subtract three from 15 and that is 12. Okay, on our other one, I'll have two times 10. One, two, three places to the left. So I'm adding three to four. So that's how I'm gonna get seven. Okay, from this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just simplify on top and bottom. So three times four is 12. And then I add the powers of the 10. So negative 10 plus three is a negative seven. And then on bottom I have six times two is 12 times 10, add the powers 12 plus seven. So that's 19. Okay. Now I divide the 12, so that's one. And since I'm dividing, I'm going to subtract the exponents. So negative seven minus 19, that's going to give me a negative 26. So one times 10 to the negative 26, that is the simplification of that radical. On our next example, we're trying to find two different numbers and it tells us that the ratio of two numbers is three to four and their sum is 84. What are the numbers? So what I'm going to do is just set up two different equations. So the first one, I'll have the numerator over the denominator equals three to four. And then I can multiply both sides or cross multiply. So I'll have a four n equals three d. Now, if I wanted to, I could just have the n all by itself and multiply both sides by d. So I'd have n equals three fourths d, which this is my preferred method, but you don't have to use that. You could use this. Okay, you just apply a little bit different and that's okay. All right, and then my next equation, it says, and their sum is 84. So the numerator plus the denominator equals 84. Now I'm going to use this n equals 3 fourths d and replace my n with that. So I'll have 3 fourths d plus d, and there's that understood one in front of the d, equals 84. So that's 1 and 3 fourths d equals 84. And divide both sides by 1 and 3 fourths. So d equals
48 and my n equals 36 because if I plug those in say to this equation here I would just have 48 plus n equals 84 and then subtract the 48 so n equals 36 and our third example is another example of finding two numbers this time we have the sum of the two numbers is 128 and their difference is 44. What are the numbers? Now you can use any variables that you want. I'm just going to say x plus y equals 128. And then I'll say x minus y equals 44 because the sum means addition and difference means subtraction. Then I can just add these together and that will eliminate the y's because they already have a positive one, negative one. So when I add them together, it'll give me zero. I'll have 2x equals, and we'll add these together. Let's see, that's going to be 12, grade 1, 7. So 172, divide that by 2. So x equals, let's see, that would be 8, 1, so 86 is what x equals. But we also need to find what y equals. So I can plug that in to either one of those equations. I'll just use the top one. I'll have 86 plus y equals 128. And then just subtract 86 on both sides. y equals that's 2, so 42. Okay, and so we found the two numbers.